back to our grandmother's days, we've always had plants like this one, the aloe vera, on the windowsill in the kitchen. Um, not so much as a house plant interest, uh, but for its qualities as a pain reliever if you should get a burn while you're cooking. What you can do is cut the leaf a piece and dab the sap on the burned area. It would seal over, exclude the oxygen, and relieve most of the pain. So it's an old folk remedy for pain from burns in particular. So it's been very common around kitchens at home for a long, long time. And we're seeing these come back in much greater quantity now. When we bring plants indoors, we really bring them in for visual impact, enhance our interior decor, a bit of nature in there. Too often we focus only on the plant and not enough on the container it's planted in. So we need to look at things like, if we look at this one, notice it's in a square plastic pot. That has an entirely different appearance, not just the plant but the container, than this one in a small clay pot. And we may be familiar with this, but we can change that image of the plant by putting it in something like a bonsai pot, this small round one, or we can use a small square and change the whole impact of that plant. It looks much, much different. The point is, if we use a bonsai pot, we can change the appearance, or we can change it with a simple clay or a plastic, and we can do squares and rounds. Just remember that the appearance of the container is as important as the appearance of the plant. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.